Welcome to Cinemax Movie Recaps. I'm Mark from Cinemax Movie Recap, and today we're going to cover a thriller action film called Hard Candy that commences with a flirty chat between two people named Thundro and Lensman. The chat goes on for some minutes and ends with a meet set up between the two of them. Haley, who is Thongo in age, arrives at Nighthawks early and eats chocolate while she waits for Lemsman. As she orders more Jeff walks in and tells her not to eat too much chocolate. Jeff who's a two-year-old man introduces himself as Lensman and teases Haley into getting more chocolate they both order some more chocolate and coffee. After getting their order they sit down to enjoy their treat they discuss actresses their mistakes and some books. Haley stutters in her speech as she doesn't want to sound insulting to Jeffrey after eating Haley sees a green shirt she likes and Jeff gets it for her. They then discuss the Nighthawks concert and how painful it was for Haley to miss. As Haley walks to the bathroom to change into her new shirt, Jeff then tells her he has a recorded version of the concert in his home and he could send it to her when he gets home. After trying on the shirt Haley convinces Jeff to take her to his home. He succumbs to her and takes her to his car they both drive off to Jeff's residence upon reaching there Haley listens to the concert as Jeff approaches her with a drink for her she reluctantly accepts it and walks to the kitchen counter and pours herself some juice. They both discuss their ages when Haley asks about the girls pasted on his wall. Jeff tells her he does his photography business in his home just then Jeff shows her his studio and Haley is impressed. Jeff then tells them to toast and Haley obeys Haley keeps asking Jeff if he gets emotionally involved with his clients and Jeff tells her he doesn't have any personal business with his clients they get to the kitchen to get some more juice just then Jeff spills the beans on the one girl named Janelle he made love within the past he also tells Haley the particular model signed with Ford afterward this impresses Haley and they discuss further supermodels and other things just then Haley asks Jeff to take her Photo she then runs to play some music. On his MP, as Jeff follows her to take her photo, unfortunately Jeff feels dizzy and passes out seconds later when he comes to he notices he's tied to a chair. He then sees Haley who confesses to drugging his juice so he could pass out. Jeff still thinks she's joking and tells her to stop when Haley breaks the ice and tells him playtime is over Jeff asks her if this is some kind of teenage joke when she says it's teenage all right but not a joke. Jeff then realizes he's actually being held captive in his own home. Jeff struggles to free himself for the first time and shouts for help however. Haley sprays some liquid in his mouth and tells him no one will hear him Jeff. Then asks her why she's doing this and she indirectly accuses him for his immoral tendency toward minor she explains she used different usernames on different platforms and Jeff kept chatting them all up they then discuss more things about the seriousness of the situation while Haley puts on Jeff's coat and asks him why he'd go so far as to charm a year old girl like herself. She then accuses him of being morally corrupt and tells him she's not letting him go until she is ready to do that she rolls him to a pink room and searches for something in the drawers Haley then says she's looking for what he uses on his victims. Just then Jeff explains that he doesn't have and that he has completed other projects on nature as well. He directs her to a part in his drawers so she can see for herself Haley sees through his words and just keeps searching for his equipment she keeps accusing Jeff of being an immoral guy and he keeps denying it just then Haley sees a bunch of letters and reads them. Later that night she reads the letter to Jeff who is clearly embarrassed about his situation Haley makes fun of him and checks out his PC she navigates through his PC and finds out he deleted some pictures. She gets more suspicious as she walks towards him and tries to get some information from him. She says she's looked through his entire house and has found nothing in there she then walks further into the home in frustration and keeps trashing his stuff hoping to find something that would incriminate him. Meanwhile Jeff struggles to free himself from his ropes when Haley sees a pile of rocks in a casting. She takes out some of the rocks to see a safe underneath a section of the casting. She smiles and goes to ask for the 
Combination from Jeff Jeff obviously. Tells her to take her time as he tries. To get into her head he says she was. Looking for a way to release all that. Anger she's had on her parents. Since they don't care that much about. Her Haley pretends to be affected by all. Jeff was saying and only laughs it off. She then proceeds to open the safe. Herself she tries a couple of passwords. And doesn't get it at all. Jeff says since she's an honor student. She should figure it out in no time. A little while later Haley cracks open. The safe she opens it to find photos of. Some underage girls just then she sees a. Photo of a girl who appears different. Than others so Haley asks why she's the. Odd one out Jeff knocks her out and. Rolls his chair to the pink room. He finds something to defend himself. Picks it up and rolls his chair back to. The living room. However he doesn't find Haley on the. Floor anymore as he looks for her Haley. Appears from his blind spot and grabs. Him again. Haley threw a tantrum of pain as her. Stomach was hurting when Jeff comes to. He sees himself tied up again Haley. Interrogates him about the odd one out. Girl she found in his stash. Jeff tells her to call the cops so he. Turns himself in Haley says she's too. Smart for that and says she's going to. Emasculate him. Jeff panics as she puts some ice on his. Body to numb the nerves. Haley then picks up his computer and. Pretends to chat up Janelle. Janelle is the model Jeff admitted that. He misused her when they got to his. How she then actually sends Janelle. The messages and Jeff tells her she'd. Get in big trouble if she will do. Something to him. Jeff also tells her people who hurt. Others don't forget what they did. He also lets her know she's too young to. Be haunted by such an unkind act on a. Man. Haley sees through his mind game again. And it backfires on Jeff. She uses the same strategy on Jeff by. Asking him what he'd have done if she. Said the same things to him when he was. Exploiting others. Jeff just stares into space Haley soon. Finishes with the computer and removes. The ice bag Jeff screams for help in. Haley quickly sprays some liquid in. Jeff's mouth to shut him up she then. Proceeds to start the procedure Jeff. Tries to guilt trip Haley so she stops. The procedure but she continues anyway. She uses the bag of ice and remembers. Enjoying the recap so far. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like. We're dropping daily recaps so let us know if you have any special requests by dropping a comment. Enough from us. Let's get back to the recap. She needs to sterilize the equipment too. Use for the procedure she gets some. Drink and uses it to sterilize the. Equipment and the skin around. Jeff panics and tries to bribe Haley but. Fails again Haley goes outside Jeff's. House to get something as Jeff struggles. Desperately to free himself from. Captivity while outside a gardener named. Judy is seen trimming her flowers when. She sees Haley on the roof of the house. Looking for something. She looks unbothered about it and. Continues with her garden inside Jeff. Almost falls off the operating table. When Haley walks back into the room. Again. Jeff asks Haley to finish him off so he. Doesn't have to go through the horrible. Procedure Haley ignores him and rolls. Him to one of his studios upon reaching. The studio she picks up a camcorder and. Sets it up to record the procedure. Just then Jeff narrates his experience. Of how his five-year-old niece who had a. Crush on him when he was nine years old. Tempted him. So one night she does it again with. Little Jeff laughing due to the tickling. When his aunt comes in and catches the. Two of them in an awkward situation. She tells her daughter to get back into. The bathtub which she does and takes. Jeff downstairs. She then turns on the stove holding him. Over Jeff cries as he fears she might. Drop him on the fire just then she. Offers a last warning to Jeff to never. Touch her daughter again. The next day Jeff's mother comes to take. Him home Haley breaks the silence and. Tells him she'd be starting the. Procedure soon. Jeff begs her not to do this but she. Doesn't listen to him he tells her she. Needs help and then that he could help her he. Says he'd do anything she says Haley. Ponders over this and tells Jeff to send. The email to a lady. Jeff refuses to do that and shouts out. For help again disappointed Haley takes. The PC away from the operating table and. Tells Jeff to prepare for the procedure. She also warns him not to move around. Too much or she could damage him. Important artery. Jeff stares into space as he accepts his. Fate Haley begins the procedure and goes. Through with it after finishing the. Procedure she patches Jeff up and offers. 
To give him balls as a souvenir. Jeff just lay in the bed wincing from. The immense pain Haley then goes. Forward and cleans the sink and offers. To give Jeff some water after forcing. Him to drink the water Jeff asks her why. She's being nice to him now that she's. Done the worst possible thing she could. Ever do. Haley says she pities him for the state. He's in now and goes to take a shower. While she's away Jeff struggles to free. Himself from the ropes and cries. Intensely over what Haley did to him he. Then comes to his senses and prepares to. Brace himself for her next attack he. Picks up a phone and dials. When he. Suddenly realizes it wasn't necessary he. Stares at her surgery equipment and. Picks up a scalpel he runs into the. Bathroom and opens the shower to harm. Haley. Just then Haley comes from his blind. Spot and touches him. As Jeff passes out Haley starts clearing. Evidence of her being there she puts. Everything back in place like she was. Never there while at it Jeff wakes up. And crawls to his living room. Haley sees him and teases him till he. Passes out again she finishes cleaning. Up and types something on Jeff's computer. Without saving it she then calls one of. Jeff's acquaintances and talks them into. Coming to Jeff's house. In the next scene she picks up Jeff and. Sets him up like he's about to hang. Himself. She stands him up on a chair and lets. The holding ropes loose. Jeff tiptoes on the chair to keep. Himself alive he then tells Haley that. She's insane to which she agrees as they. Discuss someone knocks on the door and. Haley rushes to open the door. She sees Judy at the door and Haley. Introduces herself as Jeff's niece. Judy then asks her if she is a. Babysitter Haley says she does but not. At the moment because she'd be leaving. For the city soon. Judy is a bit disappointed but she still. Asks that she give Jeff the cookies her. Daughter baked for him Haley collects. The cookies and forgets to pay Judy Judy. Asks for her payment and Haley rushes. Back in to take some money from Jeff and. Pays Judy just then Judy asks her how. Jeff's roof was and tells her she saw. Her on the roof earlier in the day. Haley remembers she was there and tries. To tell a lie about a leak. Judy catches on to her lie but pretends. She's none the wiser and leaves Haley. Walks back into the house and continues. She gives Jeff two options one of them. Was to take himself out and the other. Much worse option was for her to leave. Him until someone finds him and he gets. Convicted for his crimes. Jeff assures her that they'd find her. And tells her she'd spend the rest of. Her life looking over her shoulder Haley. Tells him that's not going to happen and. Recounts possible scenarios when this. Case gets investigated just then Jeff. Jumps off the chair and tries to fight. Haley Haley breaks free and runs out of. The house meanwhile Jeff's able to untie. Himself yet again he picks up a knife. And starts searching for Haley Haley. Rotates the house and enters through the. Back door she hears Jeff looking for her. And sets up a trap just like she always. Does. Jeff sees the trap and gets frustrated. Over her smart thinking he finally. Accepts who he is and hears a thud on. The roof. Meanwhile Janelle drives all the way to. Jeff's house crying Jeff finally gets to. The roof and gets into a fight with. Haley. As he threatens Haley she fights back. Jeff tries to attack when she says she's. Already called Janelle and she was on. Her way. She then tells Jeff that the only way to. Stop himself from trouble is to finish. Himself off. As they keep talking Janelle arrives and. Jeff tries to duck out of sight Haley. Tells him to end it all by acting upon. Her suggestion so he doesn't get to die. In prison. Jeff winds over his impending. Circumstances he then tells Haley he. Didn't kill Donna and that it was two. Other guys to his surprise Haley says. One of the guys named Aaron says Jeff. Did it before he died. Jeff then finishes himself off the movie. Ends as Haley walks away from Jeff's. House in her red hoodie. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help our channel out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.